My next guest is an Emmy award-winning TV host and recording artist with a lifetime of show business experience. That includes a 30-year relationship with Donald Trump as director of pageant affairs for Miss Universe and other great televised pageants. Would you please welcome Jim Gibson? Jim, thanks for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Great having you here. Nice to be here. Well, we're honored to have you. You did Miss Universe for quite a while. I worked for them for 35 years. Wow. Long time. How much of the decline of maybe pageants, because Miss America is, it used to be everybody in America watched it. Yeah. And it's not like that anymore. Is it because we've now come up with a, a new idea that everybody gets a trophy? There isn't competition. Nobody should lose. We don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Yeah. Is that part of this culture that we're living in? Yeah, it certainly could be. You know, yeah. you and I are from the same generation. Yeah. It's changed. Unbelievable, unbelievably, and, and yes, uh, and uh, you know that was part of my job, Mike, when I when I worked for for Donald, the president, yeah. uh, as his director of pageant affairs. My job was to work between him in the East Coast and Les Moonves, who was the president, and his 50% partner on the West Coast. They couldn't be more different. They both <laughs> had two different visions yeah. of of what a pageant should be. And uh, that was a, a, a really amazing experience. And I learned a lot about television. You're talking about ratings yeah. and what happens there. You saw these girls coming from middle America, very different maybe mindset yep. and frame of reference yep. than people who are coastal. And, and you're seeing that even now. I see it now. I don't know, like a couple of months ago, if you saw the Bill Maher piece on HBO, he talked about how we in the Midwest are totally out of touch. You know, we're the flyover people. We're, we're the ones that uh, we leave our Christmas lights up in July instead of going to Broadway, you know, and on and on and on. Is there something on. wrong with that, Jim? Not a thing. I so. <laughs> Minor up. I, it's, it's, oh, go ahead. And that was part of, uh, it reminded me so much of my, again, experience dealing with the coast in television. Because yeah. I had to fly out to meet with Les and his two top people. He was polite. He was professional. But he shocked me when I said, you know, you know, the president and I agree that there's this wonderful opportunity, the American dream thing called a pageant in the Midwest. And he stopped me because we were trying to get better ratings. Yeah. And he goes, Jim, he goes, let, let me just say this very bluntly. I don't care about the Midwest. That's not my target audience. I like the East Coast. I like the West Coast. So what we see on television is very much dictated by people that don't really care much about what we think. And I've, I find that very troubling. You've known the president a long time. Yep. You knew him before he was President Trump. He was just Donald Trump to you, and you worked for him a long time. The Trumpster. Yeah. So <laughs> what is it that a lot of Americans have no clue when it comes to Donald Trump, and they really should know? There's two things. Number one, his, his ability and his tenacity to make change is yeah. unparalleled, and I'm sure you, you know that. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. 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 And, and thank God right yeah. now that he's yeah. doing that in our yeah. country. When yeah. I met him, Mike, that was when he was at his lowest point, those late mm. 80s, early 90s. Yeah. When he, in his book, he says he's a billion dollars upside down. Yeah. So we had to do a lot of uh, hard work together at that time. So my, you know, he is, if he was here tonight, we'd be talking sports, mm. uh, probably French fries and ketchup. And, uh, and, a, talking and, a, and a steak that's well done, almost <laughs> burned with ketchup on it. I find that disgusting. That's the way I, I eat it, I like too. the president, but <laughs> gee whiz, why mess up a good steak like but that? Go he, ahead. But he's just, <laughs> it, it, I, his sense of humor is off the Richter scale. I know that, I, yeah. I wish people could experience that. And his sincerity is real. Well, I, one of the things, and I got to tell you this story, and I'm sure that this was your experience with him. I was campaigning with him. We were at one of his clubs, Doral, Miami. Yep. We got there at 11 o'clock at night, only a handful of people still in the restaurant, you know, cleaning, and there were the hotel staff cleaning up. He walked in, he didn't just go to his own little table. Yep. He walked in, said hello, and called by name every person yep. at that hotel. Yep. From the person vacuuming yep. the carpet, yep. to the person behind the yep. front desk, to the people who were serving tables, he knew every one of their names, and went over before he sat down and spoke to every single yep one of them before he ever worried about was he going to eat that yeah. night. He loves people. He, he just does. I, I, it's a side of him that most people will never see. It's so frustrating. And if you say it, they don't believe me. But that is so true. And by the way, I was close enough with him. We were married at Mar-Largo, my wife and I. He's the signing witness and the first lady on my wedding wow. license. How about that? So we're, we were very, very close and still are. But yeah. the world has changed a little bit since those days. Well, Jim, I want you to know how much we appreciate you being here. And your great career, but more than that, just, just the candor with which you've come yep. and talked to us Thank and you. kind of refreshed us that 
It's okay to live in middle America. It's all right. It's all right. We're nothing to be ashamed of out here. Do me one favor. Yes, sir. Thank your daughter. Oh, thank, thank your you. daughter. <laughs> I will. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I appreciate that. She loves her job. Yeah. She loves the president. And she gets really upset when people pretend that there's something terrible going on at the White House. She says, yeah. I work there every day. Yep. They're not being honest about it. Yep. Jim, what a delight thank to you, have Mike. you here. Thank appreciate you very thank much. You. My thanks to Jim Gibson for reminding us that there is a great big world of news and entertainment options out there today, and you don't have to support those that don't support your American values. Instead, you can watch the show that he produces, and you can watch this show right here.